coach Larry Berlin. Um, I am a longtime teacher here in Decorah, uh, 45 years plus, and uh, have been teaching science for all that time. And uh, one of the things that I taught was earth science for quite a period of time. And the school that we taught in was about two blocks away. And so we used to bring our classes up here every year when our rock and mineral unit was on. And we would show them the wall and talk about the different rocks and minerals. Well, first of all, let's make sure that you understand that Bert and his wife Grace were very, very interested in rocks. I mean, obviously, anybody that would collect as many rocks as there are here in minerals has to have an interest in it. And they were collected in a lot of long away places, hauled here by tied to cars and all kinds of things. So that's really interesting to me that someone would be that possess, so to speak, to do that. The second thing is the amount of work. I don't know if anybody in, out in the audience has ever just worked with rocks and tried to put them into a wall or stack them up or whatever. That's not easy to do. In fact, it's very difficult to do and it takes a lot of manual labor and a lot of work. And of course, this was finished in the 40s. So those two things are very much interesting. To me. Okay, first of all, a geode, which is this particular rock right here, is Iowa State Rock. And this is maybe the largest one. In fact, I know it's the largest one I've ever seen. And what it is, is it's, it's basically formed over a very long period of time. The outside covering formed almost immediately. And that's why there's very little, if any, crystals in it. But the inside of it, because it was completely enclosed, this has been broken off, completely enclosed. This in here, which is quartz, had a long time to form. And so the crystals are very pronounced and very, very... Uh, regular in shape as you would expect a crystal to be. But this geode is a, is a tremendously good specimen. Right next to it we have something that has a lot of iron in it and that's why we have this nice red-orange color to it. And this too is kind of interesting in that it was formed and you can see it has a lot of holes in it and those holes of course were trapped air or gases when it was formed and when the thing cooled that gas escaped and it left a hole kind of like Swiss cheese does when it ferments. And again, all of these things, this is a type of quartz material here. This right here happens to be calcite, and you can see the different crystalline shapes there. I mean, this rock wall has just a tremendous amount of variety to it. But really interestingly, the rock that you see right here had to have weighed a lot. And of course, this rock right here does not go all the way through the wall. It's basically flat on one side. So what happened during the winter is that Bert would take all the rocks that he was going to use in one or two sections of the wall and he would cut them with a rock saw and spend hours in the basement just letting that saw grind its way through the rock with diamond blades, I might add. And then what he would have is a flat surface with the outside rock being what you would normally think it would be. And so then during the summer, he would get his helpers and they would come out and they would, he would have it all drawn out where each rock went, he'd have all the measurements needed, and then what he would do is he would place the rock and cement it into place, and then he built a form to hold it there until the cement hardened. Then he would go on to the next part and just keep working his way across. Uh, Decor, Iowa is built on basically limestone. It uh, is the bottom of an old ocean that uh, was very prevalent here at one point in time, millions of years ago. And as a result, we have a lot of sedimentary rocks, which are, of course, layered limestone, things of that nature, dolomite. But we don't have many igneous or metamorphic rocks. Uh, this particular rock is really interesting because this is metamorphic. This has been cooked and pressurized, and believe it or not, this started out as sandstone. Sedimentary rock sandstone. And as a result, you can look in here and you can see it's been layered, first of all, but the crystals of sand, the quartz crystals, have been just pressured into just little thin layers and it gives it this kind of a look of being a little bit sh shiny and kind of layered but this is a metamorphic schist and uh, schist of course uh, would not be normally here it, it had to have been brought here either by the glaciers uh, that cover this area uh, in the area around here extensively back in the day or it was brought here by somebody that had traveled probably out to western United States maybe the Rocky Mountain area it's unbelievable when you stop and think about it. I, have, I would have absolutely no way of designing it, first of all. And I, have, I would have no physical stamina to go ahead and, and begin this and finish it. I mean, I've laid a few rock walls out of limestone and, I mean, you know, short little spans. And I'm going, boy, am I glad this is finished. And as you can see, folks, we've got a lot of, of, of wall here. 
and it's a, certainly something that you need to come and see and visualize personally.